Hi, this is our writing practice for, th for today. This is Friday. Uh, we're going to be doing lowercase basement letters. So get your paper out, the writing paper that should be in your packet. There should be plenty of it in there. So take out one paper and we're going to practice our basement letters. And we've got spiders everywhere today. Okay, and yucky, yucky spiders. These are okay because they don't come crawling up my, up my arm or anything. So um, let's go ahead and if you've got your paper ready, make sure you're very careful with this. And I'll try to do mine carefully too. I'm writing on a little tablet thing, so it's a, a little hard to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our G. Now we've practiced the G in the clock letter. And we've brought, practiced some of these other ones. Like this is a clock letter, but I want to do make sure you understand that these are the ones that go in the basement. Okay, so let me get my pen. Are you ready? Got your pencil ready? Pinch your fingers. Don't forget to pinch your fingers. Okay, we're going to start with, I think I'm going to use blue. Okay, so these are green, but I'm going to use blue. This is starts out like normal clock letters so we're going to go g g this is good going to make it big and round and touch the bottom come back up and then go into the basement where the spiders are and hook it okay and i'm going to make my a little bit bigger um lead on it so let's do that one again are you ready here we go Starting here, go up and over, make a full circle, go up to the line, and then drop straight down into the basement. And before you hit the floor, you curve it up. So that's nice round and a hook that goes in the basement. We're going to try one more before we go on to the next one. And the next one's kind of fun because it's Almost just like this one, only it doesn't have the roundy part. So let's do another G. Okay, G that says what? G. Like goat. Okay, here we go. Over we go. Around. And we're going to go right back. Go up and then back down. Straight into the basement and hook. Whoops, I got a little bit low, but that's okay. All right, so we've got g, g, g. All three say the same thing. Now we're going to make three of these. Remember, this is g, that says j. Even though that's a g, it doesn't say j. This one says j. That's kind of crazy, but that's the way it is. Okay, we're going to start just like an I. We're going to start on the dotty line. And we're going to make it go straight into the basement. Straight down into the basement and hook just as we get to the bottom and then we go plink remember not a meatball I want a dot okay let's do that one again starting on the dotty line down into the basement and put a hook on it okay and a boink one more here we go down into the basement and put the hook on it and come up a little bit. Boink! All right. Now, I'm going to try to write on, on this line down here. It's going to be kind of hard because I have to get right down at the bottom of my tablet here. So, let's see if this works. We're going to do the P. P is a stick letter that is a, goes in the basement. So, we're going to call it a basement letter. So we're going to practice that. And I'm going to get close to the spider. Ah, no, just kidding. So start on the dotty line. Go into the basement. Bounce back up. See if we can stay on the line. Until we get all the way up here. And go over. And hook it back around. There we go. Now make sure you don't get in a hurry and, and end up way over here with your tail. Because I want it to be right there at the line. Here we go. Now that spider's looking like, ooh, I want to crawl up on that P. It, it looks like a fun letter to climb. Okay. Just 
stay with spider. Let's go. Dotty line into the basement. Bounce back up. Stay on the line. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, there. Up and over. And back around and stop. Very good. And we're going, I'm going to do two cues. I've already practiced these before, but I'm going to do two cues and then we're going to do some wide. Okay, here we go. Q is like a P, only it's backwards. They face each other. So we're going to give it a little space. We can't start right here or they would be touching. We can't do that. So let's go around. It's a clock lever. So we're going to go. It's, they're looking at each other. Quit looking at me. No, just kidding. Come back up to the top. Down. And we don't hook it because it's not a G. If it hooked, it would be a G. So these two are looking at each other. Okay, let's do one more Q. Here we go. Q. Up and back down. Looks just like a nine. Only the nine is up here. We have to be standing on the line, not sinking in the basement. Boy, that looks funny. Two facing this way and two facing that way. Okay, so we're going to do our last basement letter, and it is a Y, and a Y didn't say what, it says Y, yeah, like yarn. Okay, let's, on the dotty line, all of these are starting close to the dotty line, and we're just going to slant it down to the bottom line, just a little slant, and then we're going to leave space, and we're going to, when this one goes all the way down to the basement, straight, keep the back fit straight, make sure you Keep it very, very straight. And here we go. See? Oops. Don't wiggle it too much. Okay, there we go. Mrs. Jones wiggled a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Start at the dotty line. Slant to the bottom. Or, yeah, that is the bottom line. And now we're going to slant the other way until we are in the basement. All the way to the basement floor. There we go. That one was a lot less squiggly. Okay, so um, that should do it for our letter practice today. Remember, these are, what are they? Basement letters because they are down into the basement. Creepy crawly spiders are going to crawl on them. I hope you're not afraid of spiders. These aren't real spiders anyway. So I will say goodbye. Bye-bye.